All right, we're gonna be reacting to the Ghoul Boys at the Vulture Mine Ghost Town. And let me just hit the little thing right there. And I'm doing this in the daytime because I'm rebuilding my Mac. So let's get on with this reaction video. Can I play? Oh no. There we are. So this is Fulcher Mine. Yeah. The shafts don't exist anymore because they're either collapsed or you can't. Yeah. Your As you can see, the bones of the ghost town that surrounded the mine were hit by it. Still remain. <laughs> One of it's called Vulture Mine. I'm going to be right back really quick. I got to log back into the Mac so it opens up the programs. That's a lot of money. This kind of reminds me of like Setter's Mine or Hill or whatever in, up in Northern California because I live in California and in like fourth grade we learned about our state's history. I even drew a picture of La Primissima. Well, I'm going to resume this and quickly be right back. Yeah, there's a museum not too far from where I live, and they have the original sheriff's, uh, they have the original jail from like, the 1800s. It looks like a garden shed. It looks like a fucking garden shed. Very small. And falling apart. It's right in the middle of the freaking museum courtyard. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the old ghost town. Most 
Center City. There's the Asset Building. What's up here? That's the Bordello. That's the The area in the general has reports of disembodied voices, cold spots, spirit, and apparitions. That being said, I'm gonna just take this sip of soda. Okay, that thing looks like it might have been an old mill grain, like in an early, like, technological revolution mill grain, like, maybe it was, like, something from the Industrial Revolution or some shit. It could be used for, like, crushing up rocks to get the minerals. I think I know what it is, but I might be wrong. Because that is not my special interest. Okay, people with the little little beef patties. Talk to us if you're the guy whose guts got all spun around up into the rafters. That's you. Sure I'm from you. I'm he's that. I need new glasses. Hopefully a bird. Be right back. A video might be playing on my other computer. Which I need to pause. There actually have been some cases of snakes growing limbs. Oh, now that thing's opening up. Huh. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. That urban legend. Yeah, there's some beach. Yeah, due to erosion and shit, some beaches uh, down by the coast had to close because of cliffs falling down. Like sexual. <laughs> oh no.
Don't mind the support beams! That's like... That's some shit that happens on a thousand ways to not die! A thousand ways to die! Don't. Rock slides are bad. <laughs> it fucking was. <laughs> That's a working bottle. Hmm. Yeah. Y'all know me, I'll be in Western. Oh, they have rocking camping chairs. <laughs> yep.
They prefer the spirit box more in the later seasons. <laughs> oh, yeah, again, what? Suicide by gunshot under this tree. Either way, the remains of Wicked Burke's personal cabin still sit by this tree. But as the name would suggest, this tree held a much more ominous purpose. According to legend, as many as 18 miners were hung from this very tree between the 1860s to about 1900. So what? He was like looking out at it? He had a morning cup of coffee while looking at dead bodies? Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't like do it with a horse. I mean, put the guy. I mean, like, put the guy on the horse without a saddle. Then make the horse run. Give the guy more air to hang. When it sets you on fire. Okay. Okay, going back to my fourth grade experience learning about the history of California, we went to Mission Santa Barbara, and they were like, we were like passing through the cemetery, and they're like, oh yeah, there's probably dead bodies buried underneath us, and they don't have headstones. There's like, and I was like, what? And I was like, because eh! back then I thought that was like appropriate response. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Counts like, counts like a big tree. That was a bad. It's like right next to it.
scare the shit out of him. Sus. There are records. <laughs> yeah. Yep, vandalism. Those are blue jays. Like maybe a cat dragged it in or something. It's a bed frame. Open the damn door! Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess there's wind.
I have to get the cured field. That clearly sounds like white to me. It could also be 20 other things. Okay, let me see this. It's one of the fun many others. It's the best we've gotten so far. Mm. And also, it's not a problem. It's pretty bad. Clearly, what it tells me is that it's a Ah uh, yes, there was too many bugs and too many bats there. Would you guys freak out in? Would you guys freak out like Shane Ryan did in that last little scene? I probably would as well. I'd be like, hur, hur, hur. I'd be throwing like Homer Simpson. See you guys in the next one.